Hello everyone, my name is Om Sai Gasol. This is Navigation Drawer 2017. In this video, I will talk about how to open an activity from a fragment in Android Studio. Okay, let's go to Android. So first, let's assume that you have the Navigation Drawer or some sort of the fragment already. So for now, I have the uh, fragment for camera and the fragment for gallery here. So here is my code. Here is the gallery code and this is the results for the um, gallery here. So let me create a button here. Okay, just drag a button. Okay, and then the text here. Maybe just put the text. And now when you click on that button, you will go to another activity. So let me call it um, open like that and here open activity okay so let me create an activity here new and just a simple basic activity and the hierarchy here is also important if you wanna have like a back button to the main activity just choose that and just click finish or maybe just change to sub activity easy to see okay this is a sub so let me add um, like a claw or something like that easy to see to recognize that now this is a constraint so make sure that you click on this uh, in for constraint to make constraint to the top and the left it's about the same thing. So let's go to um, gallery fragment here because now you have a button here. So first, you have to know how to get a button from the layout here. So let me delete the code here. You want to use um, this one, this code, but now you return the code. So if you want to use that, you have to. Um, declare it to U and just call U here. The U here is a class and U here is just an instance with a small V here. And then you can return U here. Okay? So after that, you can call U, find U by ID. So this is a trick how to, um, you know, call the button from the layout. It's not just button, I mean like anything from the layout. Now you have to cast it to button. All the ID dot written open here. And then you can have the ability to set on click. And this is the method that we usually do. So it's just the simple intent. So intent. So when you use the intent here, the first is like the source and the second parameter is the destination, right? So the source now has to be get activity. So this is a trick, the big trick here. Usually you will call like you go from main activity, main activity dot this. But now it is in the fragment, you cannot call, that's why you call get activity. Okay, and then uh, you want to go to start activity dot class. Okay, and then you can put extra if you want, of course. Maybe just something, you know, some data, and then start activity. In. Okay, so if you want to receive this, you can um, grab that data from here as well. So, get intent get extra okay and then this is the bundle so just call bundle so if bundle is not now then you can grab the data so bundle get string so the string now is some so if you want to test it again, I think it's a 
good idea to plant it. Now you can hold it if you want to. It is in the activity, so you can use this if you want to. Or maybe get up to pay some contact better. And then just okay, that now. Okay. okay, that's it. Okay, this is the code here in the gallery fragment. Click on the gallery here and click open activity. See that? And you can receive the data also. If you click on the physical back button, just go back here, click here, see that? But if you click on this one, it will go to the main activity, okay? Because the, the bag doesn't understand, but the, the physical bag doesn't understood that. So it knows that you want to go back to here. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video.